name's Alex Smith. I run a business called Alara. And we specialise in organic cereals. We make about half of the organic, all of the organic muesli made in the country. I started the business getting on for 40 years ago now. I was living without money in opposition to property development speculation in central London and was living in squats. After a year of that, we decided to start using money again. And the very next morning I found two pounds in the street and we started the business with that two pounds. You could get into New Covent Garden Market and go around the dustbins picking up thrown away fruit and vegetables. To get a van in, it cost two pounds. So I found the two pounds. I borrowed a friend of mine's Morris Minor pickup truck and started selling it in a squat. And that's how we started the business with two pounds we found in the street. It's a family business. I work with my wife. We've got a 10 year old daughter. She insists on one of the porridges and she was involved in the development. So we've put her picture on the packet and she has ideas for new products. Over the years, we've had some notable firsts. I mean, we were the very first cereal company in the world to be certified organic. We were the very first food manufacturer in the world to be zero waste as well. So we've been zero waste getting on for 10 years now, I suppose. That whole move into the informational age, I suppose, is what's happened since I've been in business, you know, which has been really startling. You know, the possibilities of it and also the abuses of it. We also want to involve all of those who are involved with Alara. So, you know, the businesses who work around us, our suppliers, our customers, our wider stakeholders, you know, the council. You know, there's a whole groups of people that we're close to that we work with. I'd say just about everybody here has planted the roots of sustainability. What we need to do now is we need to let these roots of sustainability grow. The Wassailing Party is in effect a benefit for the London Orchard Project, but they're planting, you know, hundreds and hundreds of fruit trees all across central London at the moment. So there's a whole, you know, raft of businesses, people, entities that society is based on and it's bringing together all of those entities that we have a mental, a shared mental life with, so involving everybody and allowing new creative processes to arise and there's the potential for this to be, you know, an amazing future. You know, it's not doom and gloom, it's absolutely amazing is something absolutely to be celebrated.